Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video. Today I want to share with you the Retro Royale deck that I'm using inside of this challenge. And as you can see, it is a balloon deck. The balloon is insanely powerful in this challenge because there isn't too many air defense in these card selection here. Like for the most part, the Musketeer, the Minion Horde, as well as the Infernal Tower are the strongest air defense that you will come up against. You have the arrows for the Minion Horde, and then you have the Barbarian Hut Barbarians, as well as the Knight Minions, the Skeletons, and the Archers to distract Musketeers and Inferno Towers. You can use a Lightning or a Zaspel if you want in place of the Fireball, but I'm seeing a ton of Barbarians in this challenge, so I opted for the Fireball instead, and honestly, don't really feel like you need a Zaspel in this deck. I would suggest using an Arrows for sure, because the Arrows is an equal Elixir trade against Goblin Barrel, but we've been doing so uh, fairly well so far in this challenge at four wins, one loss. The one loss actually came, I made a scrub mistake, guys. I uh, built this deck in my normal deck selection here, and then I went ahead and did a battle, and I forgot that it doesn't update to this deck here, so I went in with a random deck, uh, this one down here, my first loss was with a Hogwriter uh, Zap Bait deck that I just built, didn't even test out, and then we went ahead and fixed it and used the proper deck, and we've been doing well so far. But let's go ahead and just finish off this challenge right now in front of you guys. But for those of you that have already done the Retro Royale, and if you made it to six wins, I want to hear what deck you used in the comment section down below. So please feel free to share the deck that you used in the comments. Now, Barbarian Hut placement does depend. Ideally, right here, a 4-3 split is best, but with the changes to True Blue and True Red, he's using a Hog Rider deck, so ideally, you want to have it a bit further up because otherwise, if the Barbarian Hut was one tile further back, like if I place it back here, he could actually pick push past my Barbarian Hut on the left hand side. And to prevent that, I put it up one tile further. Now, you do have to be careful because if they have a Musketeer or a Wizard, they can't snipe your Barbarian Hut from across the river. Now, I'm kind of okay with that fireball because I want to do something stupid here. Um, I normally don't do a balloon push just yet because I don't know what kind of counter cards they have in their deck, but. We're going to go at all in here with the arrows, the knight, the knight will tank uh, for the balloon. And as you can see, the balloon getting in there, doing the work to that tower. Boom, one hit. That might be a dead tower unless he drops archers or something. Um, I think it's a... Ooh, the late musketeer, yes. Okay, all right. So we have a one tower lead so far. I had the barbarian had ready to go, but it's seven elixir. So if he drops something else... Let's go uh, this. You know what? Let's go barbarian as well. The barbarian head should defend against the uh, musketeer as well and then kill the prince. And we're going to go ahead and use... Mm. Yeah, let's do a knight back here. I don't want the Musketeer doing too much work to the Barbarian Hut because at 7 Elixir, you kind of have to protect it to get your value out of it. If they send any Musketeer by itself and it finishes off your Barbarian Hut, you lose so much Elixir value. And as you can see, uh, because we protected the Barbarian Hut right there, it serves double duty defending against the Hog Rider push. So, are we recording? Yes, we are. I'm such a scrub, guys. I always worry that I'll record a whole video and then at the end, I'll realize that we we're actually recording. So... Uh, go in here. I'll have the arrows ready because he does have minion horde. Where is it? Sir, use it, please. Use it. Ay, yeah, yeah. That that cannon pull. No minion horde? Alright, you're going to use that. That's, that's respectable. The balloon doesn't get in there, but we still get the death damage. Let's go ahead and do a barbarian hut right here. Get the barbarian spawning on the left-hand side, putting on pressure. Arrows this. I should have fireballed that, but whatever. Uh, lesson learned. Let's go. Boom, knight. Now, this is what you don't want happening. You don't want the musketeer getting free shots on your Barbarian Hut. So ideally, I would have had the Knight go down a half second earlier to distract the uh, Musketeer. But regardless, because I used the Barbarian Hut on the left-hand side, we got some good damage done right there. And I'm going to go ahead and just cycle cards here to get another Barb Hut going on. Boom. And I don't want to use... I do not want to use my arrows there for the Skarmy because he does have the Minion Horde. And I want to save the arrows for the Minion Horde because it's a better value trade versus using the Fireball. So there we go. Uh, that should be a pretty decent victory. Um... You know what, let's just go ahead and do a balloon, guys. YOLO. YOLO wing it up right here. Come on, do you have minion hordes, sir? Let's pre-arrows here. Can we get something? Anything? No, not quite. He fireballs it, though. So good game to my friend King Unicorn. Still undefeated with this Barbarian Hut balloon deck. We only need one more win to get to that six-win process. So let's see here. Boom. One more for my crown. And I think that does get us the magical. Uh, is there any way to save the magical to the end of the video or not? Can we click past it? Oh, well, I guess not. Anyways, we are recording, so let's see. Can we get a legendary hype? I heard some people getting legendaries out of this out of this magical chest, so if you guys got a legendary, let me know which one you got, because I can either be jealous or maybe we've got the same one. We'll see. We'll find out in a moment here. So let's see. Minion Horde? Oh, it's going to be more epics, I think. Yeah. Oh, guys. Expo. As you can see, I have 70 almost. <laughs> 
I rounded up because I didn't want to say that number. But we have 70 almost of the expo. I'm never going to use that card. All right, maybe I will. I don't know. But there we go. Boom. Magical chest earned. Go ahead and do one more to get to that six win. And then uh, we'll face off against Smur. Guys, Smur from the Battle of Ukraine. So, like I said before, I want to know what deck you guys are using. Because I want to do this challenge on my other account as well. And I might try and test out some of your guys' decks. So feel free to share them in the comments below. So, Barbarian's putting on pressure on the right. The Valkyrie is concerning. Um, I want to use the minions to counter the Valkyrie. Hopefully he doesn't have air defense. Um, certain cards like Wizard and Bomber and Witch that aren't normally strong in typical battles actually excel fairly well in this challenge because of their splash damage and a lot of people are using Barbarians and a Minion Horde and stuff like that. So definitely splash damage units like Bombers, Wizards, Witches, Valkyries do fairly well in this challenge now. Uh, the skeleton should hopefully counter the Musketeer. And he does have that skeleton army. So, the Zaspel is, like, the skeleton army is probably one of the only reasons why you'd want to carry a Zaspel. Um, because otherwise, I think you'd want to have, like, a, like a lightning spell for the Infernal Tower. Because it, because a lot of people right now are using wizards, like I said, or musketeers, or witches. And so using lightning will give you more value than using a Zaspel, because you can use it on the Infernal Tower as well as the musketeer. So, now... The Valkyrie, like I said before, really strong counter to my deck here with the Barbarian Hut, and he also has the Musky. Uh, so we gotta keep that in mind when we do a Berlin push. Ideally, what I wanna do is wait for him to use the Musketeer out of rotation, and then maybe go in with the Berlin Blast. You know what? Let's screw that plan. Let's go YOLO right here. And, uh, I don't know. It might not work. It might work. We'll find out in a moment here, guys. Come on, Balloon, get in there. He's gonna Musketeer it. Um, if the, if the Knight can get one shot off, the Fireball will finish off the Musketeer. And there we go. But now, here's the problem, guys. We had a Witch in here. Um, I want to get my Barbarian Hut up at ASAP because he does have his Hog Rider in his hand. So if we get this Barbarian Hut right here, uh, we should be able to do some work here. Let's see here. One second, one second, one second. Wait for it. And then go boom. You don't really want to use the Barbarian Hut right when you hit 70 Elixir because they could do like something and punish you for it. I like to wait till I have 10 at least, and then that way I can use... Uh, like a knight on the other lane if I have to, or just have something available for defense. Now, ideally, would not have taken that much damage on my barb hut, but I'm going to play all defense here for the rest of the battle. Not going to go too uh, so, uh, too aggressive there. And we're going to fire up both of these chicks here. Those are the, both, both of those are babes. And he doesn't have minion hearts, I don't think, so arrows should be decent right there. And we'll see here, barbarian hut here. Three Barbarians down, then triple Barbarians, guys, and then, you know what, let's just go YOLO. Screw the defense plan, guys, let's go YOLO here. YOLO, wait up, Night Tank for the King Tower, please, and Tank the Witch, please, thank you. Alright, guys, the Balloon might do some work there. I'm not too sure if we're gonna get us two Tower uh, Crowns, but, come on! Oh, we almost got two Crowns for my Crown Chest, but there you guys go! Undefeated to the six wins with this deck here. Um, honestly, the meta is so different in this Retro Royale Challenge versus Typical, which is one reason I love it so much, because it's just so unique. But as you can see there, we got the six wins. Boom. We got our Magical Chest, and undefeated with this deck. We do have one loss, like I said before, that was with a different deck. I forgot to change it. Don't be a nub like me. You have to press the deck button. Let's see here. 3,000 gold? Not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, the 25,000 gold from the last challenge, the Bandit Challenge, was super nice. But this is free, of course. Let's see here. Is this even, like, is this even, like, excite-worthy? Is this excite-worthy, guys? 600 gold, and, uh, just give me some, uh, we got a golem. It's better than nothing, guys. One golem is better than zero golems, so. All right, so I went ahead and hopped on over to my second account. We're gonna go ahead and continue this Retro Royale Challenge with this Barbarian Hunt Balloon deck. Probably won't do the whole thing. Might do two battles or one. We'll see how it goes. But I just want to kind of play around some more with this Barbarian Hut deck now. Like I said before, the placement of your Barbarian Hut does depend on what deck your opponent is using. But we're going to go ahead and use it right here. Just in case he is using a Hog Rider deck. Now, of course, there isn't no Lava Hound in this challenge, which is kind of nice. Because Lava Loon is my Arch Nemesis. So knowing that I won't face it, or Royal Giant or Elite Barbarians. Guys, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. <laughs> so, uh, let's go ahead and do... That was an interesting Goblin Barrel. I don't know if it ever suggests Goblin Barreling. A, um... Get out of here, giant. I wanted to kill that musketeer. Gah. Kill her, please. Oh, she's getting value, guys. She's getting value. Right there, one elixir or one health musketeer. Huge value. 
That's exactly what I wanted to prevent when I used those skeletons there. But that giant is nasty. So, the fact that he's using a giant deck kind of means to me that we might be able to put the Barbarian Hut a bit further back. Because otherwise, he can use the Musketeer to snipe it from across the river. And placing it further back prevents that. Now, please use another Musketeer next to your tombstone. I really enjoyed when you did that last time. So, please, for me, do it again. Uh, we're going to use a Knight here, guys. I want to keep the arrows available if possible. So, we're not going to use it there. And I want to do... Hmm, yeah. We're not going to do Fireball yet, I don't think. Unless this Knight can get one smack off. Um, nope, he can't. So, let's go this. Now we're gonna fireball this, boom, kill the skeletons, damage the giant, push back the musketeer, and this time we'll use archers to finish off that uh, musketeer, boom, and the skeletons will do work against the giant. Guys, the skeletons, don't underestimate the one elixir skeletons. They have a high damage output if you can get them onto a tank. So like I said before, do not underestimate them. Let's go ahead and do a knight for the mini P.E.K.K.A. And I kinda, I kinda wanna switch lanes here with the barbarian hut. Because even though we have a bit of damage on the right-hand tower, uh, he seems to be focusing on the right-hand lane. So if we can uh, switch up the lanes, make it some counter-pressure going on with the Barbarians, and it gives further distance for the Giant to travel to my Barbarian Hut. So, uh, he's going to go Giant right there, so let's go ske Skeletons. Knight in the back for the Musketeer. He's going to Arrows or Zap the Skeletons, probably. And if my Barbarians can finish off that... Uh, uh, you know what, let's go to the Barbarian Hut here. I'm not quite ready for a Balloon Push. There we go. Kill that. Thank you. Uh, ooh, nice Inferno Tower location there. He's going to arrows my minions. There we go. But honestly, we got Barbarians and Archers on the Inferno Tower. I didn't want to use a Balloon Push yet because he had the Tombstone so close. And I didn't want to pull it over. We're going to fireball this Musketeer because one Archer shot got on her. And then we're going to go ahead with a Balloon Push right here, guys. Keep the pressure going on. Hopefully he doesn't have his Inferno Tower back in rotation, but he might. He is using a Devil Building deck, which is kind of pesky for rocking the Balloon. But look at this, guys. He's going to pull it over with the Inferno. Not too bad, not too bad. We're going to get a proper Barbarian Hut placement right there. And we're going to go Skeletons here to protect that Barbarian. Never mind. <laughs> Forget what I was just saying, guys. Forget what I was just saying. Let's go Archer Split. He's going to use Musketeer behind the Giant, probably. Uh, let's go with Arrows for the Goblin Barrel. Boom. Thank you. And now we're going to do a little switcheroo on the right-hand side with the Balloon and the Knight. And we can Fireball something in the middle here. No? Alright, so. Balloon will get in there, Archer will do it, but he won't get past the Infernal Tower because we don't have a zap, which honestly I'm okay with. You just kind of have to wait for your Barbarian to spawn out, then use him as a distraction. Bit of a different technique versus using a uh, zap or arrow. So let's go, boom. Thank you. Thank you. And let's see here. Let's go Knight right here. Finish off the Musketeer. Thank you. He's going to go Giant, probably. So let's get a Barbarian, have to pull Giant over, then we'll use Skeletons to round on the Musketeer. Boom. Finish her off, please. Thank you. And now, when the next wave of Barbarians spawn out, we'll go ahead and do a, a Balloon Push, guys. So let's go Minions back here. Balloon right here. He's going to Arrows that, which is fine. He's going to go Infernal Tower here on the Balloon, probably. I wonder if we can Fireball it to kill it. Boom. Yes, sir. Skeleton's here on the... He's, gonna, he's forced to use Musketeer there, maybe. Balloon getting to the tower. Arrows going down on the Goblin Barrel. Archer's doing work. Balloon getting that death bomb effect onto the tower. And if we get another Barbarian spawn, we go ahead and do another... Uh, actually, you know what? Let's go. No. Change of plans. He just dropped the Musketeer. So change our plans a bit. Archer's here. Thank you. And look at that, guys. The Barbarian is doing work on the right-hand side, too. The split lane pressure is insane with this deck. Now, the Barbarians will kill the Giant. Go in here with a quick uh, Night Balloon. Uh, oh, I wanted Skeletons as well, but... Didn't work, so we'll get the fireball ready for the Infernal once again. Where is it? Alright, pulling it back. Fireball didn't do anything, but honestly, the Knight tanking for the Balloon right there, and as you can see, guys, even with the Infernal Tower in his deck, we just won. There we go. Boom. Getting past that Inferno. And I did a couple battles earlier on. I'll show my battle log there on the, on the right-hand side of the screen against Infernal Tower decks. I had three battles in a row 
against Inferno Tower decks, and I won all of them. So there we go, guys. That will probably be the end of the video because it's getting pretty long here, and I got to edit it and stuff like that. I just wanted to give, give you guys a preview of the deck that I'm using, still undefeated with this deck since I started with it. I had one loss in the challenge beforehand with a different deck because I'm a nub. Forgot to update my deck, but we'll get that reward right there. There's the deck one more time if you guys want to go ahead and copy it. Like I said before, if you guys have already done the Retro Royale Challenge, share what deck you use in the comment section down below. And also, as a side note here, for anyone that watched yesterday's video where I started off a Grand Challenge with that Graveyard deck, I actually finished that Grand Challenge off this morning before starting recording this. I didn't record it as a two-part series because I wanted to go through it as fast as I can to get ahead to this Retro Royale Challenge, but I did manage to get to 12 wins in that Grand Challenge. So I'll go ahead and show the chest opening sequence on the screen here at some point. Um, just for those of you guys that did watch yesterday's video and wanted to see how that Grand Challenge run ended up being. But anyways guys, that is the end of the video. Really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for some more Clash Royale content. Thank you so much for watching guys. We will see you in the next one.